Hi everyone, happy lead day. Welcome to this video. And thank you for the feedback from my past client that uh, mentioned I was like kind of uh, stiff for the previous video. I guess I just have to get used to it uh, looking at this camera. Anyway, today I like to talk about a topic that was being asked from my uh, customer that uh, whether the weakened scene dollars due to the COVID-19 will affect the property prices. And with the recent confirming cases are rising elsewhere besides China, South Korea is having an outbreak now, Iran in the Middle East, and Italy in the Europe countries. So WHO had also said no country could assume to be spared from this virus. And the recent US stock market have felt more than 10% a few days ago. So with all this uncertainty ahead, will Singapore property prices still hold? So far, I don't have a, um, the statistic for this month yet, but we can reload what has happened over the past few weekends. Recently, there was an executive condominium launch called the Park Canberra, which was sold 64% uh, over a weekend launch. Even though there is this COVID-19 ongoing, why is it selling so well? Because EC is also one of the general Singaporean choice of subsidizing housing beside the BTO flats. And EC is built by private developers with the same full condo facility as a private new launch. Although it takes the same three years for them to build and the same minimum occupation period for five years as a BTO, but the buyers were given this exclusive to purchase at a subsidized price. And this priority is only for the first timer and second timer. And there is also a CPF grant as well, uh, which up to 30K. So with all these factors are very attractive for the young startup, especially they are having a higher income and with sufficient saving for the 25% down payment. So secondly, there was a private new launch, the M by the Wing Thai Asia, also sold at 70% 70, 70 over a weekend launch. Again, despite this ongoing COVID-19 virus, the units was sold at the average price of 2,450 PSM and was reported the majority of the buyers are Singaporean in their 30s and 40s, comprising of uh, owner, stay and the investor. But again, why is it selling so well? Because everybody is worried about this COVID-19 now. So actually it's same as the developer as well. And they are launching the project during this virus. So in order for them to hit a certain uh, target sales, the developer actually had priced it very sensitively. Although the average PSF was around 2,450, but the content price range were between 900 plus to 1.5 million for a studio, one bader to a two bader. So it's actually more easier for Singaporean to accept within this price range and are more easier for them to afford as well. Lastly, besides Singaporean buying our local properties, I believe the weakened SING dollars due to the COVID-19 will attract even more overseas funds into Singapore properties. In another way, it's helping the foreigners uh, more easier for them to buy and afford a property here in Singapore. Besides, there may be more investors, you know, they might switch their portfolio from paper asset to a physical asset around the world due to the current situation right now. So whether is it a threat or opportunity for you, you decide. However, we will continue to march on and we will see what is the statistic out for this month. So please leave a comment below. I would love to hear your thoughts. Till then, I'll see you at the next video. As always, take care.